another question. Find uh, integral of this uh, fraction. And if you check this uh, uh, question, the denominator is a uh, quadratic and it's what? It's being repeated twice. This fraction is going to be equal to. So this is going to be ax plus uh, b over uh, this one to the power 1 and then plus the next one as what? Uh, cx plus d what? over the uh, quadratic expression uh, to the power 2. So what we do now is to multiply through by the common factor and the common factor is what? Is this. And if you don't want to do that, you can uh, work on the right hand side and express it as a single fraction. So if you do that, we're going to have this on the right hand side. So we're going to have uh, this one and this one to make one. So we have uh, ax plus b uh, times uh, one of these plus this one and this one cancel. Then we have what? We just have uh, this uh, expression on the left. So that's what we have. Uh, we have expressed the right hand side as a single fraction. So this denominator we cancel out. The numerator on the left equal to numerator on the right. Let's do the expansion for the right hand side and that will equal to. Uh, this one times this one as a uh, ASP. This one times this one plus 2AX squared. Uh, this one also times 3, that's a what? 3AX plus this one times this one, that's a B squared. This one times this one plus uh, 2B, 2BX. This one times this one, that's a plus uh, 3B. So uh, plus this. We can arrange the, uh, the tens. So we have this. Plus s squared is here, s squared is here. So that will be equal to what? 2a uh, plus b times what? Times s squared. This one, this one is done. So we now have now plus uh, this one and this one and this one. That's uh, this. Finally, plus the constant at 10. So the next thing to do now is to begin to equate the, the coefficients. The coefficient of s cube. On the left, we don't have uh, s cube. So it's going to be 0 equal to uh, a. So a is equal to 0. For s squared, the coefficient of s squared on the left, we have 1, and then on the right, we have uh, 2a plus b. So we can call this one equation 1. Uh, coefficient of x on the left, we don't have it, that's 0 equal to. On the right, that's a 3a uh, plus 2b uh, plus c. And then the constant terms equal to 3b uh, plus d. Okay? So these are the equation we have. This is like equation 2, uh, this is equation 3. Uh, from uh, equation 1, uh, we only have value for uh, for a, so plug in a equal to zero to, to equation one. So we're going to have a uh, b will be equal to one. B will be equal to one. We have a value for a. We have a value for b. So we can go to equation two and get the c. Uh, from equation two, a is zero. Uh, b is one uh, plus c. C will give us what? C is minus two. Then we can go to the third equation. We have b as one, so we're going to have three times one uh, plus d. So from here, uh, d will be equal to 1 minus 3, and that's what minus, uh, minus 2. Uh, a is 0, uh, b is 1, uh, c is minus 2, and d also as minus 2. So we have our question equal to uh, integral of uh, these sum of functions. My a, don't forget, the partial fraction is equal to what? ax plus uh, b, okay? a is 0, so this one cancel, b is 1, so I have b 1 over x squared. Uh, plus 2x uh, plus that 3, okay, that's the first one. Then plus the second one, which is what? Cx plus d. My c is minus 2. My c, is, that's minus 2x uh, plus uh, d all over x squared plus 2x uh, plus 3, all squared. Then close your brackets and then the x. Uh, integral of sum of functions will be integral of each of those functions. And that will be equal to integral of 1 over this. Then here, the minus minus here, you can take it outside and that will change this one to negative. Uh, I take off this fraction, there's no table for that. Uh, this quadratic expression, we need to turn it to perfect square. And that will be equal to what? S square uh, plus 2x uh, plus 3. Okay? So, uh, you take one of this, then plus uh, half of the coefficient of x is what? It's 1. So, you square that. And whatever you have here, you have 1 here, you take it outside. You, you deduct that and square that. Uh, plus uh, 3 and that will give you x plus 1 squared and then this one and this one that's what that's a plus 2 so from here this will be equal to integral of 1 over uh, this one will become what uh, this is this all square Let's not change anything okay but well, there's something I'm foreseeing so you can replace that shortly okay then the 2 squared is same thing as 2 minus integral of uh, 2x uh, plus 2 all over uh, x squared 
uh, plus 2x plus 3 plus square uh, dx. Now let me take us back to memory lane uh, for this one. On table, integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared will give you half term x over a. Okay, and then 1 over a outside. Okay, so the same thing I'm going to apply. Whether, whether you are adding plus or minus to this place, it doesn't change the, the, the stuff. So, uh, this one, integral of this will give you what you add time and the expression, that's x plus 1 all over a. My a is what? Uh, root 2. Then, open and close the brackets, times 1 over what? 1 over root 2. So, that one is done. So, that's why this one has to be what? Has to be squared. It's a squared. And to make it a squared, the 2 will become what? Uh, root 2 uh, squared. Then, let's get the integral of this expression, the second part. Uh, I'm going to use uh, u substitutions. Let u be equal to this. Uh, the u equal to 2x uh, plus 2 dx. So my uh, integral now will now become uh, this one. That will be the u what by u squared. So I've changed the variable now. This will equal to what? Integral of uh, u to power minus 2 uh, the u. And that's equal to what? The power plus 1, that's a u e to power minus 1 all over minus 1. And that will give us what? Minus 1 over u. And then you can plug back the u. So the final answer will be what? So that uh, question, we have uh, uh, this. And then um, minus 1 over, my u is what? My u is uh, x squared plus 2x uh, plus 3. And finally, plus what? Plus the constant of integration. Okay, and that finished the question. So please, if you are new on the channel, quickly smash the watermark from the video and subscribe. Okay, don't stop there. Click on like button and begin to make your comments. Thank you for doing that.